We are also joined and sponsored by Kingping Mouthguards. If you don't know who they are, they currently provide mouthguards with Dan Hooker, Mark Hunt, Jordan Tai, Manu Vatavai. If you want to get hold of one of these mouthguards, it's give them a call on 0800 Toothy and they're lo located on 55 East Tamaki Road. So the louder the bass, the bigger the punches. Talking to Joe earlier, I asked him what the nickname was. We tried to have a bit of a laugh about the Sugarfoot, but he's going to stay original tonight to the last name. This is his second fight. Last fight was a win by decision, so he's looking for another win, possibly by decision or KO. Nice. Straight back in there. What were their weights, heavyweight? Yeah, they both above 90. Well, both easily. <laughs> Joseph who waited at 114 and oh Adrian nice. came in at 111. Okay. Both tipping those scales at uh, just under a quarter of a ton. Oh, I'm sure it looked pretty relaxed. Going to settle into it. Like you said, they've both got those smile gloves on. I'm trying to ascertain what Alex gloves they would be. Would you say they're 12, 12 is? No, nah, they 14s. should be six, nah, 16. So All corporate right. 16. So it should be standard, even for heavyweights. Oh, nice hook. Southpaw, okay. So who's that? Sephora's Southpaw. Setting him up. Nice body, that's going to work well. Get those in in the early rounds and then they take its toll in the later rounds. Joseph with there with the high guard. He's taking a few little shots and coming back in again. Adrian in the orthodox stance looks pretty, looks pretty composed. He's not too, not too worried about the southpaw guy coming at him, but the southpaw guy is keep on coming forward. Nice. Good feeling out straight in there. Punches yeah, no, thrown. Relatively highly skilled guys usually these corporate guys come in swinging quite well he, all their punches are well timed yeah well I was thinking controlled. yeah good work rate they are working off each other um, but matching combo for combo I mean straight back in it for those watching back home we've got Joe in the black and uh, white trim would that be correct Kendall yes and Adrian in the green no other way oh, other way around sorry yeah Joe's got the green stripe in the red corner. So Joe in the green stripe and Adrian in the black shorts with the white stripe. That's the and one. these boys are banging. The 10 second cl clap just went. What a round. Pretty hard to score, and I'm glad I'm not scoring this one, Kendall. What yep. about you? No, nah, totally. Nah, I'll be happy then to settle into it. Good matchup for the first round. And then they'll uh, see how they're going in the second. Don't forget to check out Hard Rocks Boxing on Facebook yep. to see the upcoming events and classes. Hard Rock Boxing, right on Facebook. Red corner is green. Red oh, corner is green, right? Yep. Suck 
crowd still uh, a little bit sheepish, a little bit sleepy out there, and that usually is the case with you know this first fight of the night. Waking Hopefully they can step it up, up in this round and get the crowd worked up and throw some more punches. And you know this could go the distance the way it's going. Yeah, they're, they're holding they're up very well. Out. They're even power. Just got to wait to who who catches who first. Joseph, like you said, that southpaw jabbing with the right. It seems to not cause too much trouble, though, for Adrian. He just keeps coming forward and not worrying too much about that right jab. Yeah, but he's working his way in. He's, he's confidently throwing it. He could be setting something up. But you never know if he's setting something up until he catches it. And that was a good... Beautiful uppercut there from Adrian. It did. It would have been a right Joe. uppercut. And as you know, yourself, fighting south pause is a little bit tricky. You've got to stay away from that right hook. Sorry, that left hook, with that right jab, left hook. Do you think he's doing his best to avoid that at this stage? I don't see them moving. No, nah, because he's moving to the right. He's moving into that. Yeah, so he may be avoiding the left the left hook. Yeah, at this stage, they're just banging. They're not even being too strategic. They're, they're squaring up. So that's down. what you have to do when you're up against the opposite the opposite stance, to square up and then you even it up. That's good. Beautiful shot there from Adrian. These boys tipping the scales at 110 plus. These shots would actually KO or knock down mere mortals. Or a guy. Are they handling it? They're throwing it. It could be a decider for the last round. Some of those body shots are really clean. Just pushes them off there. He's had enough. <laughs> Yeah, no, that's what I was going to say. Adrian's letting him coming in, but he's uh, he's got some crisp shots coming through. We've got Legend himself, Paul McSherry, ref in the fight. Like, do we like the way he refers? Yeah, no, he's, he's right on there, right on the mark. Yeah, keeping it safe. Southpaw backs him up. Even now and again, it's just one punch that might that, that the judges might see. And Adrian's getting some cleaner punches through, but Joe's got a bit more of a work rate, and he's backing him up. And that's what the judges like. The judge. Just as you called it, Adrian caught him. Yeah. Lands that right. Yeah. We, just, we think Joe was scoring those points putting scores on doors, Adrian comes through with another clean shot. So what are the judges looking for? Are they looking for punches and bunches or those clean shots? Punches and bunches. Who's been backed up? If it's a close fight, it's normally it goes to the aggressor. But Adrian is getting some cleaner shots through. So I'd like to see Adrian here. And he's orthodox. <laughs> Can I be orthodox? So I'm fine. But, uh, and Landed another one and tagged him. Yep, but he's got his back against the ropes. He should move to his right and reclaim the middle of the ring. It's those little things that add up because if the judges see you being dominated, the last thing that they're going to remember is who won the round. Based on what you said, oh, nice. Joe Seppert is taking it to him. He's being the aggressor. He is getting tagged, but he is charging forward and landing all those punches. Yeah, Adrian's got a couple of two-punch two punch combos. Hook then a straight. 
lets her come through a game. He take, but he takes about four punches and then he throws that hook straight. So that's yeah, that's going to be the difference between punches and bunches. Or the cleaner shot, there it goes, hook straight. They're, they're good, but it's not going to put. It's probably not going to put him down. And Joe's not going away. Oh, this is a great fight to kick things off. Ten seconds. Oh, ten seconds. They, they went boys. fast. Oh, clean punches. Okay. guess who it would go to but I'm not supposed to be biased so we'll let the judges come to play give them a job I don't want to do the job for them easy to go to a couple of rounds when you're going hard out and you're going up against someone that's trying to hit you in the face and there's a lot of adrenaline there's a lot of anxiety and there's Shane Chapman uh, Shane Cameron the man Shane the mountain warrior Cameron as you said who look as a legend in his own right has got his own gym out on the shore and had that you know very hard and tough fight against the legend too, David Tua. 